Welcome to Botox Pod. It's the conversation <laughs> pod. <laughs> That's wow. Look at that shit. All right. Welcome to Botox. It's a conversation that fills the culture and not the face. Today we have a very special guest to my left, the creator, the eyes, the visionary behind many, many different projects and our team. Please give it up for God's nephew. <laughs> God's oh, nephew. Oh right. shit. What's up, nephew? What's happening? Nice, brother. Tell us who you are, brother. Tell us where you come from, and just overall, who is God's nephew? Oh. I don't know, right? Uh, um, <laughs> uh, my, uh, my real name's Josh. Okay. Uh, Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. <laughs> um, yeah, I grew up in uh, Malden, South Carolina, Greenville, okay. South Carolina. Uh, I don't know. Grew up a little regular kid, really. Okay. You know, played basketball most of my life. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then I, I started taking pictures at like thirteen, fourteen for my brother. He's a musician, um, and that kind of just snowballed into kind of where I am now. Uh, you know, I started taking pictures of him. Then I started taking pictures of flowers and Fly flowers, bro. <laughs> yeah, fly, yeah, I don't flowers. know. It's just kind of you start catching stuff around you you just like whatever peeps you i was always attracted to color so um i definitely, flowers are always I definitely can see that in your work <laughs> like especially like in your photography and stuff like yeah. everything is like real vivid as far right. as like saturation exactly. and in a lot of your videos too like exactly. I, I peep that and just hanging around you like you are a guy that really like Pay attention to detail. Yeah. Like, I've noticed that about you. I OD you, about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, if people didn't know you at all, and if they don't know you now, mm-hmm. what visual aid would you take them to to, like, basically introduce yourself, whether it's photography or short film or a shoot that you've done, like, recently? What would you take them to and be like, this is the base of oh, who me. God's nephew is? Like it could be a movie or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm definitely gonna say a movie. Okay. Um, oh, it's really a combination of movies because I have like a. There's a lot of different sides of me. Like I have a lot of different. I'm a real uh, octopus, if you must. Like I'm, okay. I really attract to a lot of different things. So if I could say three movies, okay. then I say like Interstellar. If you've never seen Interstellar, Interstellar. Um, then it's a biography about uh, John Michel Basquiat. Okay. And. What's the third? Uh, who shot the sheriff mm. about Bob Marley? Yeah. Wow, that's those different. Three, who shot sure. the sheriff? Yeah. Those why, three for sure. why? Why that? I'm I'm intrigued. Um, just because of like how much he in, like he got involved into like like trying to help people and how much that like backfired, backfired on him know? in the end. Like in the mm. end, and in just like. Like it didn't, it didn't really matter. You did, you know. Like it mattered after, mm-hmm. but wow, it's like you, he didn't even feel that shit. You know? He didn't even realize it. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So I was watching a, a reconstruction miniseries, right? And like in the beginning, I really didn't like gain much, but mm-hmm. by the time the short film was over, it was like I get it. Mm-hmm. He's not just a nigga out here taking pictures like everything, every element mm-hmm. inside of this means something. Okay. Like whether it's just simple symbolism or something like you seen and right. you just shot and it mm-hmm. explained the whole story. So like <laughs> just tell us how reconstruction came about. What is reconstruction? Like what does it mean to you? Um well, it started off as just like an idea, to be honest. And to be honest, it kind of it's an ideology. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not more. It's much more than just like a like the media stuff, or like you know, like a, a group or anything like that. It's mm-hmm. much more just like a way of living for real. Um, mm-hmm. And it came about just uh, we had a the ones in Greenville know about the pink church mm-hmm. incident. Mm-hmm. I was um, going to ask you about that. So, you know we kind of formulated around that era of when that was like a big thing. And we kind of just came together. Like, you know, we were the young kids that weren't like, so uh, negative about it at first. We were just like curious, like what's going, you know, like we just wanted to see what was going on. Just to try to see like, like this isn't you. Yeah. You know, like like, we just like, we could tell it had to be like an artistry mind person to do Mm -hmm. that, you know? So we was just like, 
pulled up and that kind of started a whole thing for the people that were involved and the energy that was just set there. Um, we kind of just decided to carry that on. Like, yo, the city needs more energy, like spaces of energy like this, like more spots where there's a bunch of people that in the same liking of things they right, are, right. you know, that stuff can like that. actually put stuff together right, and see right, it right. come to life. You know, and or just like if we all, you know, like like we do now, if I'm working on a video and Kenzie's separately, you know, doing something at his house, we're like, yo, what you doing? We both working, we just like trying to link up just mm-hmm. so that energy there, mm-hmm. you feel me? We're still doing our own thing. For sure. But that's all the idea of reconstruction is, is really just the, the reconstructing of how you see the world around you. Like, mm-hmm. That's why it's called it's double eye. Double eye. You know, right, you, right. You, 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 you got see two it eyes. both eyes, <laughs> but you gotta see it from a different point. You gotta of see view. it from your it start with you to then go to your peers, then spread around your community. That's beautiful. You know? That's so beautiful. That's bro. all reconstruction is. Damn. So with all the controversy behind the King Church, like were you nervous? Were you inspired? Like, because that's something with all the noise behind it, like that's something big to get behind and say, yeah. Like, especially for little old Greenville, but, like, we got a few things here that's, you know, done popped or certain people that's done popped. But, like, mm-hmm. that was something that actually made the news. Like, yeah. people yeah. were really talking about it. So, like, did that cause controversy, like, in your personal life? Or, like, did it help you in a creative director It very much position? helped me in a creative director position. Very much even made me realize I could be a creative director. Mm. Um, as far as controversy, it probably did. I'm really such a like a nonchalant person. Like if it did, I didn't hear it or yeah. I didn't care. You yeah. feel me? Just because like you felt strongly about it. Like even so, I didn't feel at all. I just I I I I, I something just clicked. Like mm-hmm. I have moments in my life where it don't don't nothing makes sense. Like, but whatever this is, is like nah, bro. Take that. Focus chance. on like, it. You should. You don't know what it is, bro. Like I, now, I think I'm in another era like that now in a new way. Like. I don't know what this is, what I'm about to step into, but it feel right. You feel me? It feel like it can go and it can end up in a positive direction. I feel that, bro. You know? Just hanging around like you, Kenzie, just our whole team, like, bro, every time we're together, I just feel like mm-hmm. everything clicks. Right. Like it makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> and it's team. like, bro, our vision is not that far. At all. Like <laughs> at all. At all, bro. Mm-hmm. This started with a vision and look at exactly. what it is now. Like exactly. so I feel that on a personal level. <laughs> okay. So, like, how long does it typically, like, well, I would say for reconstruction, how long did it typically take you to, like, construct the whole short film? Well, miniseries. Oh, like the mini doc? Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> That is a funny question because that was such an impulsive decision to do. Really? Like, I did not think that through at all. I actually was actually very, very heartbroken. <laughs> and I was like, I was just like, yo, I need to do something for myself. Like, mm-hmm. I need to do something to just remind, like, to remind myself what I'm doing. You feel me? I got like thrown off a mm-hmm. bit because I was like, like I was doing that, but then it was like, uh, sh- like I was being distracted a little bit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it was like, once that, once that, Smooth not even distracted, way. I can't even say distracted, but I was letting myself get mm-hmm. distracted. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And once I realized that, I was like, oh, hold I'm forgetting up. about me. Yeah, yeah I, like, I need to shit. pop my shit real quick. You okay. feel me? And that's so I kind of just, and I've always, had videos of had like timelines of my life just because I know I'm a very like I don't like being in the public you're not, you're so not. any videos I have <laughs> been out I got them like yeah. I got them all in the vault so I was just like you know let me put this together and see what it does you know all right so has there been a, like an instance in your life like we know certain instances but like if you want to share one mm-hmm. um it's been in your life where you had to like reconstruct yourself whether it's physically mentally or just like I mean, you could Absolutely. say this whole project is like reconstruction because Absolutely. we are we're we're putting in and getting back. So, Absolutely. but has there been like a vital time in your life where it's a certain incident that made you reconstruct everything that Absolutely. you're doing? Um, one, I want to say I feel like we we reconstruct our lives every day as we live, as we learn, as we see new things, as we like experience stuff. It's like, oh, that adds value to me. This adds value. This may make I heard this. This made me start thinking this way, you know, mm-hmm. like we're always reconstructing every day, but I definitely had a vital moment, uh, probably like 2022, like yeah, I had a, a, a major accident that I had to really re- like learn how to walk. I had mm-hmm. to learn how to do everything again. Mm-hmm. So that reconstructed my entire, that's, that really imprinted the, the idea of reconstruction to me. Mm-hmm. Cause I had to, I've never broken a bone in my life. So 
for me to have had that, I had a major surgery. Like I have four screws in my knee. I got two screws in my head. You know, like I got a bunch of. So I had to rewire everything yeah. about my body. Literally, you're a living testimony of, of what you're feeling. So, <laughs> so like the idea of like reconstructing, it came as me learning how to take step one again, step two again. Damn. You know, so I couldn't even imagine like just taking something, something that's like so precious, but we don't really think about subconsciously, right. like walking every right. day. It's just like we, you know, our brain, Facts. it works. It's like okay, walk. Facts. But like actually having to start over. Mm-hmm. Like, that takes a, a strong mental, so I'm proud of you, brother. Like, I appreciate that. For sure, bro. That. For sure. So, I know a vital part of like of your artistry, I would say, was um, changing your environment. And I know you spent a lot of time in like Nashville and everything. So, how has Nashville like influenced you as far as like with your artistry, or how has it been different from being here? You know. Being mm. in South Carolina, being from Greenville, seeing how slow it is, and mm. then like coming back home, coming back home yeah. from that environment in Nashville. Well, first Nashville is great, but it made me it Nashville made me appreciate Greenville on a different level. Yeah, because I'm not gonna lie, bro. Not yeah. to cut you off, when I think of Nashville, I think of like Blake Shelton, like you, you right. my track or you say, own say. That too. Yeah. yeah, you're not far. <laughs> but see, what the beauty is about Nashville and what made me realize about Greenville is that. That's the main attraction, mm-hmm. but it's like once you get there, you see so much more. Mm-hmm. Like the artist I got, like there's a like the person that designed this hat. Like I met him in Nashville. Oh, yeah. um, a lot of the people that helped me formulate more of like cultivating Guy's nephew as the character or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Like that happened in Nashville. Um, it's a beautiful place. Like it's it got mountains everywhere. You know, like it's a it's a great place to. It's especially coming from Greenville, bro. Mm. Like because it's not, it's not. You don't feel like you left for real. Mm. Like you just feel like it just got bigger. Yeah, like, just like, I, I kind of get that. Like, <laughs> you can't like with the whole state yeah. of Tennessee. Like, Thanks. Yeah. It's, it's like South Carolina, just oh a little bit bigger, just big as fuck. Yeah, like, and it's no like they a little like they a little more country, like just a little bit. Yeah. Like they not much more country than that. What's the ratio like, of niggas down there? You gonna you gotta look for the niggas, bro. Like okay. you gotta you gotta you gotta look for like because okay. the niggas there they I'll say this the niggas there they be all doing shit like they all be on their shit for it. it's mm. not they either niggas or they like on they on they top tier okay. shit okay. like they out there trying to get bread. You okay. know what I mean? I met a lot of great artists out there, like a lot of great artists. I was gonna ask you uh, in the next question. That's crazy you said it. Uh, like, <laughs> who are some of your favorite artists or like local artists from either Nashville or Greenville? Because you're a person that I see as like a visionary. Like, mm-hmm. literally, that that's what I call you—a visionary. <laughs> so, is there people like that inspired you while you was there? Certain people, yeah, yeah, Nashville. Uh, my boy Seven. Um, he don't really got no social media. Uh, y'all that's crazy. Are mysterious. What are y'all doing? Running for the laws? Nah, bro. It's just, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a. When you so tied to that shit, bro, you don't be wanting to like play. You don't play with that shit. Yeah, you, you like, can't get a sauce to everybody. I met bro, the dude who made this. This uh, his name Steven, but he go by Seven. Um, I met bro. He came. He the first day I met bro, he gave me a new pair of pants he had just designed. He like bro, I ain't got, I ain't got nobody that wear these size pants, bro. He like, y'all see him all the time. The ones with the big crazy. The light blue jeans with the designs all yeah, over. Yeah, like yeah, flare, the, first the day. flare ones. Like, yeah, yeah, he's like here, bro. Like you're the only person that can fit them. Put them on. I don't even. Oh, I don't even uh, wear like I ain't never even wore baggy pants until then. But like now I do it all the time. It's yeah. like, but I met Steven, um, my boy Terrence. Um, I think he he go by a different name and I can't I can't remember it. But Terrence, um, OG Savvy. Uh, yeah, that's really all. The, oh, uh, 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 don't forget them niggas. I gotta forget. I can't forget these boys' name. Uh, Jake and Ben. I can't remember okay. the band name, but Jake and Ben. Those boys. Those are our first people to book with me out there for real and help me get in the motion of like, this is a Nashville scene. Like they help me navigate, see that shit out. Shout man. out to y'all boys. In man. Greenville, I get. All right, that's easy. I can get this on top. L.A. Kenzie, V.B. Pot. Uh, Pat, I be fucking saying shit wrong. We be Pat, A Row, um, Paradox, uh, Richie. Shout out um, to all them boys, man. 
You feel me? It's a lot of people in the city be going crazy. I be peeping everything. Though. And y'all need to tune in. Like, hold on, we we gonna we gonna look dead in the camera. Yeah. For y'all that peeping. are not supporting local art or just local artists, bro, Facts. from your city or your hometown. You ought to be ashamed. Okay. Because you give these motherfuckers that don't give a damn about you. I mean, we probably don't give a damn about you, but <laughs> we care about you in a certain no way because we're closer home. You no feel cap. what I'm saying? Okay. No so you give all these big names millions of dollars, support the people that literally walk in the same neighborhood as you growing no up, problem. nigga. Because I'm forgetting a lot, a lot of y'all. Talent, man. But, but shout out to everybody. Shout out to y'all, bro. No cap. Y'all know Kuma Ace. Uh, I saw a couple people I'm forgetting, but y'all know, y'all, y'all know I got love for y'all. So, bro. Um, I just want to talk about like how you come up with inspiration for like different short films because you also got another one out uh, called Chasing the Sun. Mm-hmm. So like, how did you get inspired to like do the short film and like what was the starting point and what was the turning point for you to mm-hmm. actually be like, yeah, I'm gonna put this out because I know like you can record a million things a day, but it's like. Based off what you intention. see yeah, yeah. and in your intention for certain shit, you'll hold it or you'll be like, nah. <laughs> but like, what made you construct that together? Uh, I had it. I had the idea of doing a short film all for like two years, and I just been scared to do it. Not scared to do it, but like scared of myself to do it. Like, because mm. wow. I'm, I'm such a perfectionist. Like, I don't be wanting to like if I ain't got the right camera. If I be thinking like if I ain't got this, if I ain't got that, I can't do it. Mm. But uh, I had met Victor, the guy who's featured in it. Mm-hmm. He did a photo shoot with me, and we kind of connected a little bit. And then, like, I just like, dang, like he's like the person I could see shoot, like I could shoot the short film with him. And so when I said that, um, I had a crazy, I had a wild weekend, and I was like, like I had one, like I had got paid to do this crazy vlog. And then the next day, like my, I found out my auntie died. Mm. So, and this was the same day we shot the the film, but we had already scheduled to shoot the film, mm-hmm. like a week before that. Because I was just like, I just need to do it. Like, I, something told me like this, just try it, bro. Like, mm-hmm. just try. It. So I scheduled it just to push myself. To, like, I didn't even have it written mm-hmm. until the day before. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just like, push that idea. Out. So when I found out my auntie died, I couldn't really like process her. Like, I couldn't really process it. So I was just like. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for real. Like, and the thing I really took away from her in whole is that she like she dealt with anxiety how I did. Mm. So I was like, I can't let like the day of me shooting it. I was just like, I can't let my anxiety get in front of me like doing this. Mm. Like, no matter what it is. So I think I just whatever because I had a great weekend mm-hmm. and then I had and a really low. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right after a moment. So I but I didn't really know how to take that. So I was just like, you know, whatever I'm thinking, whatever I'm feeling, just don't think about anything. And that's what I've always loved about being behind the camera is every time I pick up the camera, I'm not thinking at all. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, those moments where you're just in the moment, mm-hmm. like you're not thinking about mm-hmm. that's every piece of chasing the sign. That's, that's everything that's you see right there. Living in a moment, just, just raw emotions on mm-hmm. your shoulder. And I, I, it correct me if I'm wrong. Did I see the film like you did a little dedication or something? Uh, I added, I put some, I put some, I shouted, I shouted her out. Yeah. Yeah. I shouted her out. That's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. Um, dang, I'm just really like stuck on the whole concept. Like that's some real shit, like chasing yeah. the sun, but like yeah. life actually a different form of life happened for her. Right. Where, like life was really happy for see, you. Like and see, that's literally crazy. you get three different storylines <laughs> from, this. I haven't even seen it from that perspective. I've always like the, I, that's crazy. The idea of chasing the sun is even like, like when I was when we did it, I told him I was like, "This is gonna sound crazy," but I did it for two different reasons. One, at for black people, like that that yeah. story, everything that's written, all the words mm-hmm. in there. If you just like stop at each frame and just like pay attention to the words, I'm really saying shit to black people. Like, yo, we always we are the we are it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. we are it. We always have been chasing this idea of freedom, mm. but we have to like, we have to do the self work so, first you feel right, me? Right. to help all of everything us, around us. Right, right, right. If not, then we, and I think that's, that's the one half, but the other half leading into that even is we all have our own personal son when well, no matter what it is, whether it's you getting in a better position, whether you're getting out of a bad position, it's like, 
we all have this idea of like what's keeping us going like no matter how far it is whether you can catch it or not you feel me right. it's like you can wake up every day and, and see, see the sun right. <laughs> you can Damn, see it bro you're chest. literally bro, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah what <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> bro it's it's so refreshing hearing like your interpretation of it and then just having my own interpretation of it is like that shit makes it deeper if y'all haven't seen chasing the sun by god's nephew go i advise that. every single person right now go to sure. youtube and watch it it's a beautiful film it's a heartfelt film it's a well put together film thank you so much no problem brother so locations like how do you come up with these locations because like i've i've noticed i pee like when we be in the car riding and shit like you'll look at something you'll be like hey bro that's a good shoot for that. <laughs> hey bro that's a good shoot for that hey bro that background is good with this color skin i'm like bro what is going on <laughs> so like so i'll be like bro what is going on but like you have this vision and like when you take the pictures with the people and then everything comes to life i'll be like yo okay this thing is different. <laughs> like the gas station pictures you took. Yeah. Like, bro, it's a gas station, but like you seen elements in here. You like, yeah. oh yeah, let's go inside. Like, so how does the location like how do you come up with these certain locations? Is it always just riding by or is it like Yo, it'd be hard. Colors that pop, you like, oh yeah, that's it. I just be praying every time. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold Just pull you. up here, we'll do it. Cause it'd be like times when we ride in the car that help me like but I have to Everything has to make sense to me. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, no matter if I have a location, if the subjects don't match the location, then the location don't matter. You feel what I'm saying? So I have to like, and this is also why I don't just, sh I'm glad I'm get to say this right now. This is why I don't just shoot with everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't just like. Tell them. Tell them again. You feel me? We don't shoot with everybody. Because it is not like, I don't, because I hate when people think I'm trying to be an asshole. Or no, but it's no, like, you lose value. Just, mm -hmm. just using any any and everybody. If think about it, if every time because I've been real passionate about this, I'm sorry. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah. You. But think yeah, about yeah. this: if a billionaire Fact. seen every homeless person in the world and gave all them uh, a million dollars every time they seen them, bro, Fact. they wouldn't have a billion dollars. Oh like they wouldn't. They wouldn't. That's a fact. So it's like That's a fact. you got to have some type of groundwork for us to put in the rest for you because it's like we're starting our own groundwork and that's not being selfish or insensitive that's just that's trying real. to build like that's real, that's real. so nah. i get it you have boundaries you have restrictions you and have it's, just, it's hard to vision. give everybody like what they expect yeah. especially when people don't know what they want bro. yeah like people be asking me to come up with the whole concept i'd be like bro I don't know. I ain't never <laughs> conversated with you before. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's easy for me to do stuff like for Kenzie because I know this nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or my any of my homeboys, anybody mm -hmm. I I've had a conversation with before, or anybody. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but if I've never talked to you, I don't know what your idea is. I don't know what you. You feel me? You want me to come up with everything? Right. Like that mean that include outfit. That include what your hair look like. Mm -hmm. That include what, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like. Mm -hmm. You gotta bring something to the You gotta help me something. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. So I just be like, I'm I'm more so just like, you know, whatever whenever somebody contacts me and it and it makes sense, mm -hmm. like if it's it's if it's something cool, if it's something like genuine, you feel me? It's like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna fuck with it. Like I'm gonna fuck with it. So beautiful. Beautiful. So stop asking nephew to shoot your pictures. You don't feel like you're worried. <laughs> nah, you're keep not. trying to book though. No, yeah, I just yeah. keep booking. Yeah, for sure. Keep yeah, be on the book for don't sure. Don't listen to me. Okay? <laughs> Look, this is my own just job. don't be mad if I don't respond. There you That's go. There don't you be go. mad if I don't respond. Don't. It's nothing personal. I swear. There you go. So with certain films and stuff like that, are you like when you go into your whole concept of creating? Are you fearful at first? Like certain ideas won't stick. Or are you just like, fuck it? I know you say you really don't think about it. You just do it. But like, are those, are there moments where like subconsciously you're like, okay, well, maybe I'm too far-fetched on this one. It's All the not going to work. I, I'm, I've became very aware with the fact that I'm psychotic when it comes to okay. ideas. Like, mm -hmm. don't shit ever make. Yeah. Like, imagine me thinking about making chase chasing the sun after i just explained that to you right it that doesn't shit make don't sense make sense at all. you feel what i'm saying no, when you see the words on and, there and knowing you as a person like this is like nigga that shit don't make sense but when i say that <laughs> and it and it's like mm, but it kind of do yeah. it's, like, it's like that one little bit of understanding mm -hmm. i'm like okay i'm i'm going with that 
like I'm going with that one bit of understanding so I can build this world around it. Like I like I love world building, like being able to make shit shit that don't make sense make sense. Like you gotta you gotta imprint it in their head. You gotta scare them sometimes. Like what the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, mm. You gotta make them worried a little bit, like to gotcha. get their attention. You know what I mean? So. Fuck with that. Fuck with that. <laughs> so I we talked one time, and I remember you saying um, Cole Bennett mm-hmm. was like somebody you could see yourself working with in the industry. Is, mm-hmm. it, is that still ever a thought? Like, is that the end goal for God's nephew? Like, what is your end goal? As, I want to like, work with Crayola. Okay. To be honest, okay. that's my real end goal. I got two end goals. I want to work with Crayola, and I want to build a school. Facts. Beautiful. Yeah, I want to build a school. school like for like a just fully cool. black owned school. And I say that because a lot of the schools that's owned by black people, besides Dr. Umar, uh-huh. you're the first person to really own a black school. Everybody else still owned by the state. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's okay. like they still make okay. the decisions of what right, happens right, to these kids. You want it fully functional. I want it fully functioning off my people. Right, you know right, 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 Good right, for my right, people. Right. Like all of that. So, but yeah, I want to work with Crayola and be able to like work and like, I don't know where coloring books will be. At we're going to put it, time. we're going to put it out right now. Facts. You're, you're going to work with Crayola. <laughs> no we're, cap. And then you can come back to this five years from now because I'm giving you five years. Yeah, I want to do, it, I want to do coloring books. I want to do like stuff for kids. Like I want to do like, yeah, I want to be like a real. Coloring Crayola, that's that. I want to use yeah. images because we that's what we're used to. We're used to our phones. We're used mm-hmm. to seeing things, like mm-hmm. things that make sense. And colors are always the ones that's like, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want to work with Crayola to really like tap in with kids, the early kids, like, mm-hmm. and give them shit that's like really sensibly cool, but is good, genuinely good for them. You feel what I'm saying? Like that shit they can learn about life and shit. Beautiful, beautiful. So like an extension of a coloring book, like a coloring book that is that that's like realistic, mm-hmm. a, very a much. more it's realistic like, color. It's like book. situations you'll see in like uh, like. You feel me? Like example, I'm not saying this, but like a car wreck, like a picture, a fire picture of a car wreck. You feel what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm following you. You feel what I'm saying? Like if you, but you know how you you be scrolling on Instagram, and you'll see like a little uh, aesthetic page, and they got a uh-huh. picture of a, a car on fire. Uh-huh. So you're like, oh, that's shit. Kind that's of, cool. Imagine that shit, but it's like trying to tell the kid, like, hey, don't ever drive. Okay, like, okay, okay. Like, you feel me? I like, like that. Like a situational, some, a situational coloring. That's, that's hard. That's not hard. You feel what I'm saying? For kids. Why the fuck you ain't pitching this to them? I don't. I'm a real like. I have to. I like moving behind the scenes for real. If anybody, I should have said this in the movie part. Claire is Avon. Okay. If y'all never seen who any of that, there's a Netflix documentary I'm about that. Look too. I don't know. That is me, one hundred percent. Like okay. he's like he found it. Quincy Jones. Who Quincy Jones? Oh, okay. I know who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about. He's yeah. Behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Like so, he's like you don't really see him until. You feel me? I it's feel like, it. so that's that's me, but um I don't know where I was going with that. No. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. Well <laughs> Anything else you want to say to the people? Ask them, you know, where they can find you if you want to be found. <laughs> uh, yeah, God's Nephew everywhere. God's Nephew zero zero on Twitter. God's Nephew underscore on Instagram. Um, we're about to be doing a whole lot of double I parties. Yes, double I. Double I parties. Whole he already party. explained what double I is, so yeah. don't ask. We all, it's going to be, I'm about to be, actually, I, I'm, I'm not going to be as hard to find this year. I'm okay. going to try to be like, Okay. Shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. So when people miss you, like you cool with everybody calling you God's nephew? Correct? Just call me nephew, bro. Okay. Just nephew. call me nephew or few. One of the one, either true. one of those cool. That's true. Just don't call me Josh. I don't like being called Josh in public. But yeah, nephew, few, whatever suits you that day. Just a nigga, whatever. <laughs> no, a <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Somebody may slap the shit out of you. You might be a type. Might be a problem. Yeah, for sure. All right, man. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming check out my brother. Until the next time, peace. The opinion about the nigga hitting the judge. But I think it's time that he gets a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court. Oh, 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 hey, oh, 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 hey, What's your unpopular opinion? Of I feel like he had. I feel like he had a better reason to do it. Yeah, like. I feel like they shouldn't have charged him with attempted murder. It was yeah, that, that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. I, I don't even know what that's, he was getting charged with. I don't murder, either, but a t- person, that's like, what? You're about to die anyway, bitch. Like, 
I didn't. That's as soon as I saw him jump, I was like, whatever it was, I know he was right. Yeah, like I just knew he was. That right. nigga bro, for you fucking... to get that high, like yeah. you really felt that in your chest, Not like for sure. fuck that bitch. Hey, like, anybody know my nigga? Should I take the video or what? Yeah. Can I hit that? Can you still see my face? I don't know. Yeah, but like you're like. You're in your art villain mode type shit. So I look like. Do I yeah, look take your, take the hood fuck? off. Take the hood off for yeah, sure. I don't want to take the hood off though. Do I look black as fuck? I mean, no. there's nothing wrong with being black as fuck. I mean, but I just. Want to I nah, you don't look black as fuck. I want to look like a colorful uh opium nigga. Okay, all right. I understand. Well, to keep the hood on. Cool. Uh, can you see my phone? No. What's another no. unpopular opinion about this week like, that, I, that that you guys have seen? Twenty twenty three. I did see we started off at a crazy start, but I can't remember anything like everything seems seem normal now. That's valid. You know the fucking insurrection at the White House happened, I think. Was January sixth. I don't yeah. even know what an insurrection yeah. is. When they raided the when they raided the storm the Capitol. Oh mm. yeah. Yeah. The anniversary just came up for that shit. That's so cool. <laughs> What? That's so cool. I feel like that was some of the craziest shit that could have ever happened. That you lived through. I yeah, was surprised yeah. niggas was really like getting Doing charged shit. after the fact. Yeah. Like white people. Oh, like that was, yeah. the first time, yeah. that was the first time something that drastic happened and nobody guessed if it was niggas or not. That's, you know if what? Saying, everybody knew that was white people. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, one no yeah, niggas that raised the White House. We're not raised the White House, bro. None, none of that statue. We know what's going on. So. And scene one. <laughs> 